What do you need, Leo? Well, you've gone through everyone who works for you and everyone who's married to you. I didn't know who else you could get mad at, so I was afraid the American people might be next. Oh, by the way, when we're done here, you're sending Abby some flowers. Did you know that 2,000 years ago, a Roman citizen could walk across the face of the known world free of the fear of molestation? He could walk across the earth unharmed, cloaked only in the protection of the word civis romanus. I am a Roman citizen. So great was the retribution of Rome, universally understood as certain, should any harm befall even one of its citizens. Where was Morris's protection, or anybody else on that airplane? Where is the retribution for the families? And where is the warning to the rest of the world that Americans shall walk this earth unharmed, lest the clenched fist of the most mighty military force in the history of mankind comes crashing down on your house? In other words, Leo, what the hell are we doing here? We are behaving the way a superpower ought to behave. Well, our behavior has produced some crappy results. In fact, I'm not 100% sure it hasn't induced it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about 286 American Marines in Beirut. I'm talking about Somalia. I'm talking about Nairobi. And you think ratcheting up the body count's gonna act as a deterrent? You're damn oh, right. Oh, then you are you. just as stupid as these guys who think capital punishment's gonna be a deterrent for drug kingpins. As if drug kingpins didn't live their day-to-day -day lives under the possibility of execution. And their executions are a lot less dainty than ours and tend to take place without the bother and expense of due process. So, my friend, if you want to start using American military strength as the arm of the Lord, you can do that. We're the only superpower left. You can conquer the world, like Charlemagne. But you better be prepared to kill everyone. And you better start with me, because I will raise up an army against you, and I will beat you. He had a 10-day-old baby at home. I know. We are doing nothing. We are not doing nothing. They destroyed Four high-rated military targets? And this is good? Of course it's not good. There is no good. It's what there is. It's how you behave if you're the most powerful nation in the world. It's proportional, it's reasonable, it's responsible, it's merciful, it's not nothing. Four high-rated military targets. Which they'll rebuild again in six months. Then we'll blow them up again in six months. We're getting really good at it. It's what our fathers taught us. Why didn't you say so? Oh, man, here you go. When I think of all the work you put in to get me to run, when I think of all the work you did to get me elected, I could pummel your ass with a baseball bat. <laughs> 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 oh, there's one you'll like. Bertram Coles. Oh, I like anything that starts with Bertram Coles. Let's have it. Coles goes on the radio yesterday, and he says, people in his district love America, and you better not come down there, because you might not get out alive. <laughs> Bert's calling me out? Oh, apparently. <laughs> the people in Bert's district are so patriotic that if the President of the United States himself were to show up, they'd kill him. <laughs> Ziegler must be ballistic. Toby is on it. <laughs> oh, by the way, who was that kid before, the one who figured out where my glasses were? Well, if you want him, that's your new body man. What's his story? <laughs>